Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be talking about the new cartel market items that we'll be seeing with patch 5.9.2. Now I will be previewing these items on the PTS so we will have kind of full images. We'll be able to see the item in its entirety, how it looks in game right now. Now of course these things can still be changed. There's still like a month to go. I believe the new patch is scheduled to be released end of July, early August. And so we can still see some changes being made to these items but I don't anticipate any major changes now let me just say right off the bat I've seen all these items they are phenomenal okay these new items are well designed they're really cool and it's no um secret that I love Sith stuff I always have if you guys have seen my videos you know I'm a sucker for anything that's very ominous or Sith like and these are all Sith like items so it's going to be really cool or at least most of them are so it's going to be awesome to check these out all right so let's go ahead and see these items themselves the first one we have is the Callus Conqueror's armor set now look at how absolutely stunning this armor set looks it is so well designed I specifically really love how the mask looks I mean I cannot imagine any Sith not being complete without a mask like that. And this is actually the first armor set to be released as Platinum Rarity. Now I know the Revan Reborn armor set is the only kind of Platinum armor set in this game, but that was, you know, converted to Platinum. It was originally gold. This is the first armor set to straight up be released as Platinum and it looks awesome. It looks awesome. So they did a good job on that. The unfortunate thing is this will be released as a direct sale item. That's That was confirmed by Musco. And he actually said that it's going to be bundled with the weapon that, that I'll show you guys in a few seconds. So they're actually going to be like kind of a bundle deal. Now they might also be sold separately. I'm not sure on that. But if they are both bundled, that along with the sword are both platinum. This can get a little pricey depending upon how they want to price it. I mean, as a platinum armor set, you can already expect that it might be like insanely expensive. Uh, the weapons, the platinum weapons cost 5,400 cartel coins. So we might actually see this armor set being that expensive or maybe just maybe they'll make it reasonably priced. Um, we're going to have to wait and see on that. But what we can conclude is this armor set looks absolutely awesome. The upper body armor is okay. I mean, it's cool. It has its own unique design. I definitely see uses for it. It's very like Korriban like, like something you'd see a Sith wear on Korriban. But what I really love is the mask. The gloves are also really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really just digging this armor set. The next one we have here is the Resort Swimwear. Now this is a gold rarity armor set. I believe some of these armor sets might get reverted to silver because they all seem to be gold right now. But anyways, this is kind of a female only one. So this only females can wear this one. Um, and it looks okay. It looks very Zakul like. Uh, they're going back to kind of a similar theme to that. The boots are really cool. Uh, the headgear, I'm not digging it. And the upper body armor, I mean like... The skimpy look with the bud cape just doesn't go together. That's my personal opinion, okay? It's kind of well designed. It looks very elegant, but the bud cape along with that kind of the skimpy leggings don't look very good. It's not a good matchup, at least what I think. But the boots are cool. And as I said, it is kind of elegantly designed. So that's kind of a, if you have a female character, you might want to look into getting that. We also have the Noble Counselor's Armor set. Once again, this is also set to be gold rarity for some reason. I don't think it's a particularly... Um, kind of special armor set. It's very similar in design to things like the Wicked Huntress's armor set, which was um, based off of Valen. Uh, this is kind of similar to that, looks a little Zakulin. Uh, the belt is actually really cool. It's got this cool little insignia there. But other than that, I don't see anything too um, special about this one. It's just kind of very well put together, you know? It looks, looks like something you'd wear to a, a, a really rich party or something. I don't know. I, I don't see any of my characters everywhere, ever wearing this armor set. And as I said earlier, I don't see anything too special from it aside from like maybe the gloves and the belt. And you can pick those up on the GTN for relatively decent prices. All right, the next one we have here is the Resilient Warden's armor set. Once again, also set as gold. Now this one actually looks pretty cool. It has some special stuff to it, especially the gloves once again look really cool. The mask is something different. I mean, we haven't really, I mean, we've seen masks similar to that, like the Rebreathers and um, uh, there was another one, the Enigmatic Operative or something that had a similar uh, look to that. But this is still a really cool looking mask. Uh, yeah, as you notice, a lot of these are based off of a Sith theme, which once again, I kind of love. Um, the belt is cool, but other than that, it's, it's kind of a decently well-designed armor set. I think it's cool, but um, 
I don't see myself specifically using that upper body armor piece. The, the, as I said earlier, the mask is cool. The other parts of the armor set are actually quite nice. We have a very similar armor set uh, to that one called the Distinguished Warden. Now this one I would assume maybe is supposed to be the Republic counterpart to it. Uh, the mask is I believe the same, looks very similar. Uh, but it seems like they took all of the cool stuff off of the, um, off of the upper body armor and stuff. I mean, they kind of seem to have simplified it and not in a good way. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's kind of a, this was, these are the armor sets that I was thinking maybe get reverted to silver because they don't seem to be as well designed or have as much effort put into it. And I definitely um, don't see people paying too much for these armor sets if they do end up going on direct sale. I do believe these female and the male ones for the Distinguished Warden look different because the preview images that I've seen for the female one is very different from the male one. And so um, maybe they look different on uh, depending upon what gender your character is. But in any case, I think we've gone through the armor sets. As I said, phenomenal. I mean, like there are obviously some kind of average ones thrown into the mix, but for the most part, they're really uh, well designed. Looks like they put, actually put effort into this one. I'm still kind of reeling over the Callus Conqueror and how awesome that armor set looked. Anyways, we'll go ahead and actually look at the Ancient Sith Lord's Warblade. Now, this is the blade that actually goes with um, the Callus Conqueror's armor set that is probably going to be a bundle deal or something. Now, it's an okay looking blade, um, but I just in general, I just think it's too big. And when it's stowed away and stuff, it looks really awkward. Uh, I personally do like Viro Blades, but I like ones that are more small, compact, and, and kind of more practical, like things like the Best Cat are really cool. The Dark Lords are, the Dark Honor Guards Vibra Blades are um, kind of a, a lot smaller and they look a lot cooler. They stow at the waist and stuff. This one's a little bit more different. So I would m very much prefer them to be sold separately because I would probably not look in, uh, looking to getting this specific uh, Vibra Blade. It's just, maybe it'll grow on me. The Dark Honor Guards Unstable Saber definitely did, but this one, we'll, we'll wait and see. But at this point in time, I'm not a big fan of this design. We do also have another platinum mount. Now, th now this one is called the Dark Side. Um, okay, I can't pronounce that word. <laughs> okay, but it's it's another dark. It's another um, mount that's supposed to be like really dark side. It's obviously all all black. It is a platinum mount. Uh, is it really worth being platinum? Is it that nice? I don't think so. Uh, it's it's kind of um, generic, honestly. Like there are so many mounts that not only look cooler but are like silver and, and gold rarity. And so, putting this one as platinum. I mean, I get it that it's a different animal. It definitely has a weird ass name, but uh, I don't, I don't think it's that special. But just my personal opinion on that one. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section because I'm interested in seeing kind of people's different perspectives uh, to these items. Now we also have some other miscellaneous stuff that um, we don't have images for. So for example, we have the dark side channeling weapon tuning. Now that one sounds really cool, but we just don't have the uh, the effects for it, which is unfortunate because. That just sounds awesome. I would love to see what that actually looks like. We also have the flare, sign of the Dark Lord. That is awesome. Like, that is what, I don't know, I think any Sith character is just waiting to have, like an actual flare. The Corrupted Command one was definitely cool, but this one just looks like designed for Sith. Go ahead, you know, go for it. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. And then finally, we have the pale gold color crystal, which is silver rarity, but uh, I don't see anyone really caring about that. Anyways, the point is well-designed, awesome armor sets. We could actually preview them here on the PTS, which is really cool. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and are excited for the new patch. I do have some other videos planned that are gonna be talking about the new patch, some of the information that was released and, and a host of other stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.